referee for this bout will be Cecil Peoples. You ready for the karate shot from Cecil? Give it to us, Cecil. My favorite part of Cecil Peoples. Hey! <laughs> You had two really good camps uh, facing off as Extreme Couture takes on Uriah Faber's Ultimate Fitness and Team Alpha Male. Yeah, you know, uh, the Prince really shot in for that takedown uh, rather quickly. Surprising. I thought he'd come in behind some punches. Yeah, uh, well, he threw two quick punches, but they were more just for show. They were not really for go, in my, in my opinion. You see Dunham using that uh, guard pretty high here. We'll see if he, uh, you know, works off his back. I mentioned his credentials in, in wrestling being a state champion in, in Oregon, but he's a brown belt in jiu-jitsu as well. That's a bad combination because being a state champion in Oregon is not like being a state champion in, say, I don't know, Maine. Well, it's not Iowa, but, you know, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's a or good state. Oregon's a very strong wrestling yep. state. Keeping that closed guard is Evan Dunham. Dunham, a submission specialist, something he likes to do, but I think he'll be surprised by the Prince's strength. Now, the Prince is missing uh, one key member of his corner that he normally has. That is none other, none other than Uriah Faber, who is competing in Sunday, on Sunday in San Diego in the WC. He'll be fighting against little evil Jens Polver, but Uriah is certainly a fighter that we're used to seeing here at this event. See Akbar, he's stacking up and dropping some punches. That I'm doing you know, a good job not taking any damage off of his back, keeping that guard high. Yeah. It's hard to throw punches when, when the guy's hips are, are high and, and the legs are high. Maybe, you know, Dunham's not really going for a lot of submissions, but it's still hard to maneuver and, and, and really rain down some, some punishment. That was a nice shot, though. Yeah, come down with a good right hand. And, and this fight really is going to have some, you know, uh, consequences that dictate the landscape of the 155-pound division here in the Palace Fighting Championship. And those are three really big words that I use, so I probably not going to use any more of the rest of the broadcast. <laughs> Once is enough. We'll actually record it and we'll loop it in. Consequences dictate and landscape. Write that down. See Dunham get to his knees there and, and possibly shoot in, but uh, Akbar right on top of him, not letting him get any distance. He, he passes guard now and he's in half. Yeah, I, um, I don't really think Evan you know, defended that, that pass to half guard. A lot of fighters don't mind half guard, especially wrestlers off their back. Uh, I actually prefer to be in half guard as far as if I want to get up, as we see Evan do right here. Yep. Looking for that switch. Wow, good wrestling being shown by both these fighters. Yeah, just a testament to their camps as well. You know, you talk about your Ryan Faber's gym. You talk about Extreme Couture. You see uh, Dunham here looking for a guillotine. And he lets it go. Again, that's that strength that I talked about earlier from the Prince Akbar. He's a, he's a guy who... Very strong, you can see. He's muscular, although he said that that'll go away after this fight. <laughs> after every fight. But Dunham I think with that high guard he, again. He Looking relies for... on his strength too much, and he can get caught by Dunham. Good first round for both fighters. Uh, great display of wrestling skills for both Akbari as well as Dunham. Akbari, certainly in my mind, winning that round, controlling the position of the round. But uh, certainly not a fight that Evan Dunham is not competitive in. Now these guys, I think, are very, very evenly matched, and, and it showed in that first round. Both fighters real fresh. They want to get back out there as quick as possible. Eric, what, is, what does Evan Dunham have to do in the second round to really implement his game? Because he was, he was on his back that first round really fighting uh, Prince Akbari's game. You know, it seems like, you know, in the mind of Prince Akbari at least, I don't think he wants to trade hands with Dunham. He, he immediately shot for that takedown, which indicated to me that he doesn't really look forward to trading punches and kicks with Evan Dunham. So I think that that's what Dunham needs to do is, is, is make Akbari play his game and, you know, utilize his sprawl a little more. I think he'll throw more punches this time. You see Dunham fighting in the southpaw position. That might throw Akbari off a little bit, too, on the feet. Yeah, he wasn't south. I don't think he came out southpaw, but he landed a good straight right and a left hook. Another one. Great sprawl there. You there, see this. There's some good nice. wrestling going on here with these guys. Akbari just wants none of being sprawled on and flattened out, so he goes to guard. Now, in that, in that 20 seconds or 30 seconds, we saw these guys trade on the feet. Now you saw why Akbari, I, I think, wants to avoid that situation. 
Akbar looking for a Kimura here. He has he has half guard. It's hard to finish there, but he can he can work a sweep. Mouthpiece coming out, I believe, of Akbari's mouth on that rib shot, but Akbari looking for that Kimura, but I don't think he's he's got a real tough time. I mean, he's a real strong guy, but he's not going to yeah. be able to uh, pull. Akbari that out motioning the to the referee about that mouthpiece. Dunham not stopping in action. Cecil, Cecil just threw it out of the way. <laughs> he ain't about to stop the action. He's in half guard. Now, if they split up here for a second, Cecil will put that mouthpiece back in. And remember, if Dunham is on just two points, it's two feet, he can't get kicked in the face from the bottom. Some nice left and rights there by Dunham from top position. Yeah, now Dunham doing a lot more damage here in the second round than Akbari was able to uh, achieve in the first. But Akbari, again, look at having an active guard there, and turning those hips from side to side. Well, just what I said before this round started, that Dunham was going to throw more punches. Come out and establish himself. Dunham looks like he wants to pass here. He's constantly going to move out. Let him up there. He's going to stop the time. He's going to put the mouthpiece back in to Dustin Akbari and restart him. And you know, I think it's a good decision by Evan Dunham. Let him stand back up. He did great standing up. Why not do it again? Well, knee to the body there. You know, and, and oh, that was beautiful knee. This is all Evan Dunham this round. And Akbari was really reaching. Oh yeah, he's for, for he's open punches. for he's open for right and, and you know and you know those shots have tired him out. He's leading with his head. He's coming in. Big shots here by Evan Dunham, and he could finish the fight here before the round ends. Yeah, I think Akbari's hurt. Akbari, he's on wobbly legs. Akbari is, is, is about to get the oh, first loss right on his record. Left. Oh, Akbari's hanging in there. Intelligently the, defending himself, but he, he looks hurt. Yeah, Dunham's he's got to go. I mean, Akbari's certainly a tough fighter, I mean, he, but he's taking some serious damage. Big elbow there. Throwing up kind of a lackadaisical armbar attempt there, an eight elbow, a left elbow for his uh, efforts. Evan Dunham is a smart fighter too. You see, he doesn't get into a rush. He takes his time. He's calculating his moves. He's in control of this fight. There's no need of letting it turn on him. Great Evan, job by Evan Dunham this round, though, once again. Yeah, Dunham's exciting the crowd here. I mean, it's about following the Gunderson fight. I think these fans are looking for any excuse to cheer. Now watch out, Barry. He'll lead with his head once again. A running knee there by Evan Dunham. Oh, I think Evan Dunham uh, got some ideas to Professor X there. The Prince might have his crown snatched off his head. It's not looking good for him after that second round. Well, you know, he, he controlled the first round. So, I mean, it, it actually, it borderline could have possibly been a 10-8 round, most likely a 10-9 round, but I wouldn't be completely shocked if it was 10-8. So, uh, considering yeah, go, two 10 9 rounds, you know, the fight's even at this point. Yeah, I go I go 10 9. Akbari was definitely hurt, but he was never really close to being, you know, stopped too badly. So, we'll, we'll see what happens in the third round. This fight's up for grabs. Also, I noticed in attendance here at the PFC, uh, Jamie Jara is in attendance, and uh, he is a, a resident here of the Central Valley, competing in a lot of different events around here. And he's here checking out the PFC. El Kukui. One of the nicest middleweights in the sport, one of the biggest middleweights in the sport. One of the scariest looking too, man. Round three action. This is the test I talked about that the Prince need to have in his career. And you know, like you said, this is a test of Akbari coming out here after that beating he took in the second round. And you know, what, what can he do here in the third round to show that, hey, he, ha he has some stick to it in this? Akbari trying to go back to the first round and get a takedown and maybe dominate these three minute rounds. You know, they're so short you can really, you know, one takedown can win you the entire round as long as you're active and don't get stood up. Watch the right hand by Dunham. He's throwing a left hook, too. Real nice. Safe to say Evan Dunham really enjoys the advantage on the feet here. Nice. Good. good. I, I think Akbar is a little desperate here. Wow, that's oh, it. That's, that's going to be it. That is deep. It is deep as it gets. He's not going to be able to, to get out of that. I'm sorry He's to say, Akbar is first over. loss. I think Akbar got a little too desperate knowing it was the final round. I think he, he was forcing the shot. He was forcing some some stand up and it just wasn't there and, and Evan Dunham exposed that. John Gunderson picking up Evan Dunham so both these guys going home with the victory for Extreme Couture. Great job by Evan Dunham. You know, coming Very back impressive. After he lost that first round, you know, Akbari looked tough but Dunham just, you know, finally kind of brought his A game out after that first round. Well, it was obvious what he needed to do was throw some punches. <laughs> it's usually a part of the plan. 